bring in Mustafa Barghouti now. He's the Secretary General of the Palestinian National Initiative. He joins us live from Ramallah. A very warm welcome to you. So, as you mentioned there, there have been a, a series of claims made by the Israeli military uh, regarding military hardware that they say they have found inside Al Shifa Hospital. How does this affect how we view the ongoing conflict there in Gaza? Well, first of all, let me say that after the scandal in Al-Quds Hospital and in Rantisi Hospital, where Israel failed really to provide any evidence that hospitals are used for military purposes, what's happening now in Ashifa Hospital is what I would call the mother of all scandals. Because uh, really, they claim that this is the headquarters of Hamas, and that there are weapons there, and that Hamas fighters are holding people hostages. What did they find? Nothing. The Israeli Channel 13, and that's an Israeli uh, channel, said that this is one of the largest failures of the Israeli intelligence. And of course, it's a failure of the American intelligence, who are just repeating the same lies that Israelis are telling. 18 hours in the hospital after invading it without nothing. And all they have shown is a Kalashnikov and uh, a laptop that they could have put there easily uh, and claim that uh, it was found there. But this, is, uh, this shows why Israel has rejected constantly yeah. all the calls of the administration of the hospital for an independent international commission to come to the hospital and investigate the situation. But Israel doesn't know we want that because they know that they are lying and they're consolidating this lie by continuing this claim that they need days days, more days, of mm. occupying a hospital to find out uh, uh, evidence of something that, of right. course, doesn't exist. Now, of course, in, in, in the process, in, in the... they've endangered, uh, sorry, in the process, they've endangered the life of patients. They're endangering the life of the hospital staff and doctors and nurses and everybody. In the run-up to this siege of Al Shifa Hospital, the Israeli military had presented all sorts of complicated graphics illustrating what they said were layers of tunnels going deep underneath Al Shifa Hospital. But of course, so far, no indication of any extensive network of Hamas tunnels. And most importantly, no sign of any captives. It does beg the question what was underpinning this military operation around Al Shifa Hospital in the first place? Is it merely symbolic or something else? I think they were trying to create an image of victory, an image of an achievement, for, and, and they, they couldn't. They couldn't find anything to show. And, and that's why they are in crisis now. And uh, the, the, the big question here is, is why this war? I mean, uh, they, they're already 40 days into Gaza. All they've done is killing children and killing civilians. They couldn't break the resistance in Gaza. They couldn't stop the resistance. They couldn't really impose their, their control over the area where their tanks are. And all they're doing is killing children. 6,000 Palestinian children have been killed. How many more thousands of children should die before there is a ceasefire? What we see today is that this war is about attacking civilians and attacking hospitals and destroying medical facilities and destroying people's homes. 50% of all homes in Gaza City have already been erased to the ground. If, is this the purpose of this whole right. operation? Right. Well, it's that's, a war that's, that's on civilians big, and a war question. on medical people. The, 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 what underpins this operation seems to be undefined at the moment, which begs the question now, is the south of Gaza next? We've been hearing some alarming concerns about an uptick in military activity from Israel south of Wadi Gaza, precisely the area where uh, the Israeli army had instructed civilians to escape to. Absolutely. And I think uh, what Moshe Alon said, who used to be a chief of staff in Israel, he said that Netanyahu is hostage to the fascists in this Israeli government or this fascist Israeli government, Smotrich and Bingvir, who are driving him into from one disaster to another. And yes, they might be committing very soon very huge massacres in the south and center of Gaza. Anyhow, 43% of all Palestinians killed, of the 12,000 Palestinians killed so far, are from the south. And 49% were killed in the south. So there is no safe place in Gaza. 
And, uh, and, and what is happening is a huge amount of atrocity. Every four minutes, a Palestinian is killed. Every 10 minutes, a child is killed. Every 15 minutes, another Palestinian woman is killed. Mm, and right. look at 28, 20, almost 30,000 injured people who cannot receive medical treatment now because Israel already destroyed or got out of work more than 23 hospitals in Gaza. Right. That is unacceptable, and it should stop, and the world must immediately act to have an immediate ceasefire. Mustafa Baghouti, this uh, crisis has uh, many layers and many fronts. Many thanks for joining us. Mustafa Baghouti, head of the Palestinian Initiative, live in Ramallah for us.